Hello there, I am Giant Grotto with my Pokemon Emerald. In the last part we took, uh, we caught two Pokemon. Our Speedy Zigzagoon and our Peter the Wingle. And also I caught um, Helper, which is another Zigzagoon as made him slave. I'm actually using this one, Speedy, at uh, my team though, which is pretty cool. And uh, off screen I also raised everyone up to level 12 except for Helper, you know. Helper doesn't need level 12 right now. Maybe later. <laughs> So, we are on Route 102, but also, with that, both of my Zigzagoons had pickup, so here's the list of, here's all they got, really. They picked up, one of them picked up a super potion, I got a bunch of potions, uh, I got a lot of antidotes as well, I got a couple, I think I got, no, Paros heals stayed the same because I bought two, and then one awakening is the same because I bought one, and then they picked up a full heal, full heal, and then two escape ropes and a repel. And a couple X attacks, but I ended up selling them because I don't really use X items, so you know. So yeah, also, one other thing is I want to show you what the moveset now. Speedy learned Headbutt at level 9 and Tear Whip at level 5. Peter learned Supersonic at level 7. Oh, and also, Peter will learn Wing Attack at level 13, which is the next level. Inside my dog's in my room. His name is Gus. He's a black Labrador. He's two years old. You probably all know the gist if you've seen some of my previous videos. Anyway, and then Wayne the Torchic learned Ember at 10, level 10. So, there we go. Now that you all caught up, you just bumped the microphone. Jeez. Okay, whatever. So, I'm gonna go and battle some people. If you have Pokemon with you, then you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. This is Youngster Calvin. So, we gotta challenge him to Pokemon battle. There we go. Nice. And let's see here. Let's just headbutt. There we go. Nice. Youngster Calvin, yes. Alright, guy lost. I should have trained more. Or mine more. And I got 80 cents from him. So yeah, I trained a lot too. Or I trained a lot more than you did apparently. Okay, ha ha ha. Our eyes met. I'll take you on with my bug Pokemon. So here's a bug catcher, dude. I like his net. It's pretty snazzy. Bug catcher Rick. A one ball K. Yeah, let's just headbutt that thing. Go one kill. Uh, I think okay. There's another one boy. Yeah. Okay. I'll take on this one boy. Just another headbutt. Then that's my strategy. Headbutt all the way. <laughs> so yeah, let's do this. There we go. What catch Rick was defeated. Ow. Down and out. Sixty-four cents was given to me because every pocket always a penny to me. Every pocket dollar is worth a penny in real money to me. So yeah, here we go. This guy doesn't battle you, but he'll talk. We'll talk to him. I'm not very tall, so I sink right into the tall grass. The grass goes up my nose and choo. That was not a. That was not a convincing sneeze, but you know whatever. Let's talk to this. Uh, let's battle this guy now. It's another youngster. Did you just become a trainer? We're both beginners. Really? I didn't know that. <laughs> Well, in this game, I'm a beginner, apparently, according to my character, but in previous games, I rock. Now, every time I see the name Alan, for Youngster Alan, for example, I think of Alan from Two and a Half Men, and I don't know why. Because, like, I only, I only, that, that name only clicks when I think of, or uh, when, when I think of the name Alan, the only thing that clicks is Alan from Two and a Half Men, which is kind of weird, but... I'm gonna have to get over it. It's not a bad show though. I mean, Charlie Sheen did do stuff that, you know, wasn't like the smartest thing to do, but nonetheless, it was still a good show. And I think it's still going on. I'm not sure if they have Ashley and Kutcher anymore in that show. They may or may not, I don't know. Okay, sorry for that interruption. So here's the tail of Fink. Okay, cool. So there we go. Thanks to Alan, Mr. Peter. I called you because I thought I could beat you. 48 cents was given to me. Nice. Okay, so 
starting in the third generation of Pokemon, you could use you could actually obtain berries and whatnot, and it was pretty fun. In Leaf Green and Fire Red, you could all you had to do was find these little dark spots or patches in the lower grass, like where I'm at right now, and then press A on them, and you get berries. But in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, you actually get pick them, which is awesome. And we can get to watering and planting some later, I guess. But for now, let's we'll just pick them. Okay, two one berries. One berries recover 10 HP, and they can be equipped to a Pokemon for use in battle. And then Petra berries um, cure poison, so that's awesome. And my eternal battery on this game is not dry yet, because it's off an emulator. So that's awesome. So I might actually get, I uh, actually might get to plant more berries and water them and get more. Okay, let's continue. Zigzoon is still at front. Yeah. I'm going to keep running and aim to be the best trainer. Help me further my career. <laughs> if anything's gonna happen here, miss, um, you're gonna further my career. But let's battle anyway. Okay, Zigzoon level 4 against my Zigzoon level 12. Nice. Headbutt that Zigzoon. Well, headbutting is Zigzoon would actually hurt because it's covered in spikes. Who? that wouldn't be very, you know, fun. Oh, Shumish. Cool. There we go, nice. And we defeated last Tyana. I ended up furthering your career. Aw oh, man. But she gave me 64 cents. That's cool. Okay, here's a potion, nice. This is cool. Okay, good. We don't run into our po we don't run into any one Pokemon. Okay, I'm gonna heal, but we're in Petalburg City right now. Right outside the Pokemon Center. If you go west of Petalburg like this, you're gonna be stopped by this one trainer dude or person. Hiya! Or you may be a rookie trainer. Do you know what Pokemon trainers do when they reach a new town? They first check out what kind of gym is in the town. Nice. Okay, see, this is the Petalburg City's gym. This gym's this is the gym sign. Look for it whenever you're looking for a gym. So I'm guessing you want me to go in the gym. Okay. So let's, let's just go in the gym. Oh my gosh, could that be Dad? Oh my gosh, I gotta talk to him. Dad. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Grotto, so you've so you so you're all finished moving in. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see you got. Oh, I see you with your Pokemon. Hmm, then I guess you're going to be become a trainer like me, Grodel. That's great news. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Hmm, oh, oh, right. You yeah, want well, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Ver Ver Verdant Turf Town. I thought I'd be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. But I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. Hmm, I see. Grodel, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. Well, here I'll learn you my Pokemon. Wally gets a Zigzagoon? Oh wow, a Pokemon. Here I'll give you a Pokeball too. Go for it. Wally well, sit the Pokeball. Nice. Oh wow, thank you. Grodel, would you really come with me? Sure. I'm, I'm like your best friend, man. Even though I just met you. Now, Wally's a rival, like your second rival in this game. And he, he's pretty cool, so. Yeah, cut him some talk about not catching a single Pokemon and not knowing how. But he's gonna catch one right now. His first Pokemon. Good old Pokemon hiding tall grass like this, don't they? Please watch me and see if I can catch one properly. Whoa! He looks like he ran into a Pokemon. Look at his green hair, that's awesome. Oh, look, it's a Ralts. Nice. So, while he's just throwing out the Zigzagoon party and it's level 7, it only knows tackle. But I don't get that because I level 5 at Lynch Tail Whip. Maybe it's a hacked Zigzagoon, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get his tackle again. There we go. And let's get his growl again, okay. Yeah, Zigzagoon can either take another chance with another tackle, or it might, it'll get a quick hit and faint the Pokemon back soon. Yeah. yeah, you do throw the Pokemon this time. So he's, he's, he has about, uh, just the right amount of, of HP, but you want to make it as in the reds at least to make it even better so he can have a better time catching it. He's using the Pokeball. One, two, three, pow. 
Yep. He caught Ralts. Level 5 Ralts. And that was his first encounter. Now, Ralts aren't that common when you try to find them, though, your character. I mean, I did it. It's my my Pokemon. Grotto, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. So did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Grotto, thanks you for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Well, my mom's waiting for me, so I have to go. Bye, Grotto. Nice. Now, Crotal, if you want to become a strong trainer, here's my advice. Head for Rushboro City beyond this town. There, should, there you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. After her, go on to other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them, understood? Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, Grotal. But that's only after you become stronger. And if you talk to him again, you say, huh? Uh, hmm. Aren't you going... Aren't you going to the Pokemon Gym in Rushboro City? There's no challenge for me. There's no challenge for me to battle a Greenhorn Trainer. Grotal, I want you to challenge me when you become a lot stronger. I'll battle you, Grotal. I'll battle you, Grotal, when you can show me four gym badges. Okay? Okay, whatever. Let's just leave this joint. Oh, fireworks going up. Jeez. Okay, so let's see here. Um, here's Wally's parents. Here's his dad. You're Ah, you must be Grotal, right? Thank you for playing with uh, for playing with Raleigh a little while ago. He's been frail and sickly ever since he was a baby. We sent him to stay with his older relatives in Verdant Tough Town for a while. There is a lot clearer there than it is here. What's that? Where's Wally? He's he already left. Ah, uh, Wally. I wonder where he could have gotten by now. Probably just the next route over. I don't know. But yeah. So after that, we don't even bother to talk to the mom. <laughs> oh. Who are you? Excuse me, let me guess from the way you're dressed. Are you a Pokemon trainer? Well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. That's no problem, dude. I, I just, I know this a lot of time. I know this all the time. I get that all the time. I don't know. So I'm gonna actually look for a Pokemon in here, so let's see if we can find it. Not it? Let's see if we can find it. Not that either, man. Come on. Where is it? Oh, where is it? Sand attack? No, thank you. No, thank you. Okay. So as you may have seen there, um, Speedy grew to level 13, but I don't want it to learn, I don't really want it to learn Sand Attack. So I'm gonna make Blaine go friend, cause he's weak level, or level below, cause I wanna find this Pokemon! Where, where could it be? Oh, here it is! It's Meryl. Nice. Yes, this will be my water type for the Waxy, Meryl. I actually used one in the, my practice run, and it's actually really a good Pokemon, I think. So let's just use Scratch on it. Okay, that's that's good enough. I don't want to weak it down any further. So let's throw the Pokeball. Let's hopefully we catch it, man. I want to catch it, I want to catch it, I want to catch it. Okay, let's do this. Oh my gosh, you broke free. Well, I guess I could try an Ember, but I don't know if it'll faint it. Uh, two more. Oh, we can try an Ember. I'm, I hope I don't regret it though. Okay, good. Good, it's in its reds now. It's in the red health. So now it's to the Pokeball. Hopefully it'll catch it, you know? One, two, three, boom. Now, I thought about Meryl's nickname, but first we're gonna add the data to the Pokedex. Aqua Mouse Pokemon. Yeah, that's awesome. I thought about its nickname for a while. I'm gonna name it Prime because red was it red, blue, and yellow. Yeah, red, blue, and yellow. I think are prime colors on the color wheel. And I'll put text over it just to correct myself, but I'm pretty sure I said that right. They're prime colors, and blue is still prime color, so I'm gonna name it Prime. So like primary colors on the color wheel. Prime. I thought, you know, I thought it was a good name nickname, even though it doesn't really make sense to some people. <laughs> I don't know, some people might not get it. I don't know. I'm gonna actually 
heal up, and I'm going to get more Pokeballs. Let's run across this Lala Patrigas. Ah. Okay, there we go. We made it. Okay. So, I want to quickly give the summary to uh, Prime. I explain it. Thick fat. Hmm. I wanted a huge power though. Man. Because it raises its attack. Became cold protection. I guess I don't get burned or I don't get frozen. I guess that's okay, but I don't know. It's got good defense, speed, and special defense. Tackle defense goal. I guess it will work with it, you know? It's okay. It's still my roll, and I like my roll. Oh, here's more berries to pick. So more pet more petra berries. So more poison cures or poison medicine, basically. <laughs> and then two more orange berries. That's awesome. So now what I want to do before this part ends is I want to catch another Pokemon. I know another Pokemon. It's crazy. It added my team. So let's sneak past this train right here. Ha! Uh, there we go. Nice. So actually, we're in Petalburg Woods now, but we'll come back to this. I just want to try to find it right now. Right here, right now, boy. I don't know. That wasn't it. I'm gonna actually switch to Wayne. And hopefully, we find it soon. I'm not even moving, I'm pivoting. Okay, there we go. That wasn't it either, huh? Here it is. Okay, level 5 Shroomish, nice. So let's go to Blaine. And we are gonna scratch it. Weaken it down. She has one more scratch. Hopefully, it's not gonna be a critical hit. I bet, I hope it's not. Good, it's not a critical hit. Gets skin is absorbed now. It's gonna be very effective though. So there we go. Nice. So bag. And we're gonna use a Pokeball. We got four Pokeballs and four Great Balls. Now three Pokeballs, four Great Balls. Good to know. One, two, three. There we go. Click. Awesome. Now, Shroomish is going to be a grass type for this walk, so actually. So that's awesome. So, the Mushroom Pokemon. And I thought about its nickname for a little bit, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually nickname it Shrooms. Shrooms. Making it a pearl, not singular. So, Shrooms. Okay. There we go. And quickly, it's summary I mean, is. Let's see here. Uh, effects boy, we've spoils on contact. That's the one I wanted. It's careful nature. Oh, yeah. Meryl, uh, Prime was a bashful nature, by the way. Defense and special defense are really good. Special attack is good. I mean, it's even with speed, but attack is better. I, I don't know. It's okay. We can, you know, just work with it. Let's use attack and then absorb. There we go. And yeah. So, by the next part, all my Pokemon will be level 14. So, just to let you know. Except for Helper, of course. Well, yeah, Helper. I don't, I don't, Helper doesn't need to be level 14. At least for now. So, yeah, every, every Pokemon on my team right here, as you see right here, will be level 14. Except for Helper. Yeah, this thing is going right here. So, this will be another my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough part. And next part, we'll take on trainers that we missed back there. And we're going to come back to Pelberg Woods. So this has been Giant Girl again. I would like to thank you for watching again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.